There's going to be a new shop tomorrow morning in Stoughton to pick up coffee and bake goods. As our Tahalil Mahodin shares, the owner's journey to behind those pastries is unlike any other. When you're around her, you just feel happy. He fought so many battles to get this thing off the ground. New business owner Priska Norton is realizing a dream she never saw coming. Growing up in Kenya, was beautiful. Like many immigrants, Priska came to the U.S. for opportunity. Believe back home that when people come to America, they become so rich, you know. When she was granted a visa, she thought she was in store for an easy life. Uh, they're like, no, honey. They have this post that say we are hiring. That's the money there. Go get a job and work hard. So within three months of her arrival, she did just that. She's got a work ethic. It's unbelievable. Though her overly romantic ideas about the U.S. weren't true, a different kind of romance was in store. I met Ray in Radio Shack. <laughs> Four years after moving to Madison, she met Army veteran Ray Norton. He gave me his card. But just after getting engaged, Ray started having medical issues, later diagnosed with scleroderma, a rare autoimmune disease without a cure. We saw ourselves running in and out of hospital. I remember calling 911 five times. Over 15 years, his lungs, heart, and kidneys affected by the disease. And in November, doctors told Priska he wouldn't be coming home. Today is 90 days since my husband passed away. But through it all, Ray pushed Priska to follow what became their dream, to open a cafe. He told me, do not stop. Never letting his condition get in the way. His mind, his spirit was of a young man, and he never stopped working until the day he passed away. Priska on the eve of opening day without her life partner, not without support. I had to come and see it for myself because I knew that she had a gift. And I just wanted to be a part of that journey because I knew, you know, no matter what she does, she's going to be very successful. But still thinking of Ray. I know he's smiling. I know if he's so out there, he's smiling today, saying, I told you. And if you're hoping to check out the cafe, it opens up tomorrow morning at 730. It's located on Highway 51 next to the SWAC Sports Complex.